Cultaholic News brought to you by Pachiti Roll for your favourite anime starring oh, everyone's favourite. Don't, favorite don't associate me with those losers. I've had it. I've oh. had it up to it. No, I, you know what? I, I am genuinely sorry for any upset caused by that. That silly little joke in this morning's wrestling news video where I compared uh, anime fans to weirdo losers. I didn't mean it. And hey, you know, we're, we're wrestling fans. You know, we're all weirdo losers. Um, <laughs> but you more so than me. Oh, um, <laughs> oh we, we got that close to a proper apology. That's all Adam, by the way. Nothing to do with me over there at Adam Pacitti. And Pacitti Roll, here's your wrestling news. Backstage heat led to a recent WWE release. Elsewhere, an AEW star undergoes surgery. And we have the backstage reason behind a WWE star's winning streak. We'll get to that in a bit. The release is fresh in our minds still from last week. Oh, by the way, Nick Aldis has tweeted out that Mickey James has had another package sent. So it better it's be flowers. Be fruit basket, yeah. <laughs> right. What if it's more bin bags? Oh, God. <laughs> flowers wrapped in a big bag. <laughs> Oh, what if they doubled down? Oh, wow. With with Hove. Uh, So there was a lot of releases from last week that um, had stories attached to them. There was one that didn't get named. We suggested that the person that got released was unhappy with their position backstage. And there was some animosity there. Uh, We can reveal via the Wrestling Observer newsletter who this was, can't we, Adam? We can, and it's none other than Kalisto. He says uh, in the Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave writes... One was somebody who was apparently let go because of the feeling that they were outly unhappy about not being a part of WrestleMania. The Kalisto story is that he cut his own throat months back. The Lucha House Party was the idea of Lince Dorado. He figured that his idea would work to a certain degree because they would make some merch and sell some merch. And even if not even if not pushed, Vince would go for it because it appealed to his idea of Mexican stereotypes. And he was right, as Vince greenlit it. Grand Metalik said nothing. He's happy being paid more than he's ever. Uh, made before, even if he's wasting his prime as far as being able to get recognised for his ability. Um, So he just went with the flow, backed up Lince Dorado. But over time, Kalisto grew unhappy about being part of an act that was booked as prelim jokes. He even made a tweet about it. Kalisto kept asking out of the group and was continually told no. But Dorado asked if he and Metalik could be the team since Kalisto wanted out anyway. So they shot the angle for the split. There were never any plans to do anything with the split and it was just a way to pacify Kalisto. There you go. Um, It's a weird one because, yeah, I can understand people being upset of being left off the, the WrestleMania card. But with Lucha House Party and all three of them, um, Kalisto, arguably the biggest name of the bunch, certainly the one with the most success in WWE. But to me, they've never really given us a reason to care about any of them. I they don't haven't. understand. They're just they're just really good wrestlers. They do some cool moves and they wear masks and they've got baby face fire. But I don't know anything about them, so why should I care? They do cool lucha things, and that is about it. And I'm optimistic for Kalisa to go on and do more. I feel like they they had somebody in Kalisa that could have been that Rey Mysterio replacement that they've been looking for for the longest of time. You reckon? They, oh, absolutely! He's I great think, in the ring. But there's but they needed some some meat on the bone there that we didn't yeah. really get from any of the members of Lucha House Party. Kalisto, we'll see what he does uh, after his 90 days. Uh, we move over to AEW where we can report on an AEW star who has uh, successfully undergone surgery. We send our best to Darius Martin of Top Flight who tweeted out, had ACL surgery this morning, first time having surgery and this anesthesia has been hitting my body like an mf all day. Nonetheless, the road to recovery begins. It'll be long, but when I'm back, expect me performing at a level you've never seen before. We haven't seen Darius on TV in quite a while, have we, Adam? No, we haven't seen them team up uh, since before Revolution. They were obviously scheduled to take place in the Casino Tag Team Royale, um, but that didn't happen. They were pulled from that match. Uh, We've seen Dante do a few bits here and there. He's been largely performing on Dark and Dark Elevation. I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to seeing them back in the ring t- together. I think they, they show an amazing amount of potential. Um, and when he says, like, expect me to be performing at a level you've never seen before, that's saying something because he's just, uh, the, the, well, they're both incredible talents in the ring. What level could we expect to see Mojo Rawley performing at when his 90 days are up, Adam? 
Uh, a level 42 tribute band. Maybe. That is an amazing know. scenes. Uh, Mojo Rawley update today. So a little bit of a, a rumor killer about his release from last week. Well, were you devastated they left that one to the last minute, Adam? Well, they really, they, they messed with me. I took that personally, you know, because yeah. they did the big batch of releases. Um, and although I was very, very upset to see a lot of that talent go, I was like, oh, phew, he survived. And then, like, what, two hours, three hours later, it's like, oh, by the way, Mojo's gone to see. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it's a shame because uh, you can say what you want about his work in the ring, and I'm never going to claim that he's one of the strongest wrestlers WWE had. But I think he, 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 was, he was good value. There, was, there were very few people who really cared as much as Mojo Rawley, um, especially about the fans. Um, and he was... Uh, obviously, that was his thing. He was very, very hype. But he was a perfect hype man in a lot of ways. Um, and I think he actually had a lot to offer WWE from both in, in ring as well as a behind-the-scenes sort of more PR-based role. So, I was, I, yeah, I was really sad about it. I've actually... I've, I had a quick chat with him since, just via DMs, wishing him... I don't want to say best in your future endeavours because it's like a WWE thing now that almost sounds sarcastic at this point. But I just said, you know, good luck on whatever you, you, you fancy doing next. Um, and he got back to me and he was like, oh my God, I've got to get back to Adam Pacitti first. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're still like that, obviously. Next time um, you speak to him, could you ask him, I don't know, off the top of my head, uh, what three wrestling matches would you watch I, I, if I you were stranded I, on I a desert want to island? I out there straight away, Tom. You just wow. got sacked, you know. Um, no. Um, so... Anyway, to, to the story, uh, people were reporting, uh, PW Insider initially, um, that Rawley had actually been quietly let go uh, by WWE in early March, and then WWE held off on the announcement until mid-April. Um, but Rawley has now spoken to Fightful Select and denied that news, uh, saying that he, um, he still thought he was employed by WWE uh, until just an hour before WWE publicly announced that particular release. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that's they don't have to get round to it quick. It's almost like they forgot about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, by the way, well, did, was it from last year where they said that they couldn't announce the releases until people took the phone call? So maybe Mojo sense. saw the office ring and went, not answering that. <laughs> uh, we can also, he also said, uh, following the official release announcement, Mojo Rawley would go on to say his next career move would officially begin on May 31st. Absolutely. Uh, looking forward to welcoming him to the Cultaholic team. <laughs> yes! Our official hype bro. Oh man, I'd love that. Oh, Obviously, and until that day that. comes, hug your Mojo Rawley waifu pillows a little bit tighter. And final uh, a backstage reason behind somebody's hottest streak in wrestling. It may have slipped under your radar. It may be something you're marking off on the wall, probably the latter. Mansoor has been on a tear in WWE, un not unlike Bill Goldberg. Uh, 27 and 0 in WWE right now. And there is a reason for this that may or may not surprise you, isn't there, Adam? This is groundbreaking stuff. The reason <laughs> behind Mansoor's winning streak, we can reveal now uh, it's being done in order to appease the company's Saudi Arabian benefactors. So, yeah, he's 27 and 0. If you count in house shows, he's 46 and 0. Oh, and wow. Let's not Amazing. say any more about it. He's really good. You know what, Mansoor, I think, is class. I think he's a really bloody good promo, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, of course, that's the reason. Of course, that's the reason. But there you go. I want to see more Mansoor promos outside of Saudi Arabia. Because you say he's great. He's got the fire yeah, there. Yeah, he really he does. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he truly does. Hey, before we before we do wrap up, uh, we want to send our best as well to Terry Funk, um, mm -hmm. who recently contracted COVID-19. Um, he's in isolation at the moment. It's said that he's doing fine, but Terry Funk, protect him at all costs because he's, oh, he's, he's the man. He? So sending all of our love to Terry Funk as well. As if Funk. Terry Funk is going gonna, is gonna to job to COVID-19. Absolutely no not. Chance. What a boy. All the love in the world. Big love, Terry. Forever, 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 forever. Love you, bye.